Well, everyone wants solar energy to be cheap, but right now it's not. And one of the reasons is uh, for the concentrated types of solar, the, you basically have a robot that has to point these solar panels or these mirrors at the sun to very high accuracy. And when you do that with metal and motors, at some point it ends up that the solar, you're kind of, it's not really a good trade-off to do solar anymore because you're using so many resources and you're doing it so expensively. And it's not really uh, accessible to most of the world. So we're working on a new form of solar tracker that's based on plastic and water actuators as opposed to the traditional metal and motor based actuators. This is the actuator we're basing our uh, solar trackers on. We call them heliostats because they follow the sun. Over here we have a very small scale version of our array and uh, our actual array would maybe have a hundred mirrors this size. And these mirrors are much smaller than what's out in the field right now. And there's a lot of advantages to that. One of them is the closer you get to the ground, the less wind loading is a problem. And because it's so lightweight, we could start thinking about putting concentrated power on rooftops, places where we haven't been able to do it before because it's such a heavy, uh, heavy, heavy system. One of the mirrors on this array is demonstrating movement. And the movement is happening just by distributing water to each of the chambers. Instead of having a motor on each of these, instead you'll have a centralized control system that just routes the fluid where you want it. So you have one small control system that can control up to 100 or more of these in the field, which makes the cost of control very low. There's very few people doing robotics that is fluid-based, and definitely no one in the solar industry is doing uh, hydraulics this way. Well, if everything's successful, uh, we're introducing something that could make solar energy at coal parity cost. So solar power could actually be as cheap as any other form of energy, which would be very enabling.